All right, today's video is going to be about the treat and train machine. The treat and train machine is a fantastic dog training piece of equipment. This thing is phenomenal if you know how to think outside the box, right? You can do basics with this, but you can also take things to another level and do very high level dog training with this machine. So I've only used it a few times. I've had it for like a year, a year and a half. And I've been wanting to give it a try. So I just the other day started using this on Charlie, the golden retriever. I'm going to show you here in the video. So how this works is I have a manual remote and inside you fill this with treats. Let me show you. So inside there there's a wheel that I have filled with treats. Okay, and the wheel spins around and spits treats out the hole when the signal goes off, right? So the concept behind it is your classical positive dog training theory, right? So this is exactly the Pavlov dog training <laughs> system, right? Where with the bell rang, the salivation of the dogs, knowing that the bell meant food, and exactly the same thing where in clicker training, which is based off the Pavlovian theory also, that the click means the dog gets a treat. Same thing, the ring of the bell means the dog's food is coming. So when dog hears the food, the bell ring from wherever, the salivation starts automatically associating food to the bell. So clicker training become very popular in the world. So it's exactly off that theory. Click and the dog knows that once that click happens, they'll get a treat right after for whatever they're performing. So the treat and train machine works the same. So I'm going to turn it on here for a second. Okay. So when a dog performs something that you want to reward, you click, you hear that button, the wheel turns and the food comes out of that hole. Okay, and I can change this to less food, more food, smaller food pieces, bigger food pieces. Okay, so it's the same theory. So the bell, the clicker, or that. Okay, so I took Charlie and I had placed him out one day and we were just working on his down. So he would down at the machine and I wouldn't click and open it unless he downed. So I wanted a down at the machine, not a sit, not standing, not curiosity, not trying to paw the food out. So the moment that he learned he laid down at it, I would tap the button and then he just found that every time that sound would go off, he, food would come out of the dispenser and he would get food.
So Charlie ended up laying there constantly and just waiting and waiting and waiting for that beep, knowing that when that beep would happen, his food would come out. So you can condition a down command, which I did also with the German Shepherd Hope. I got a down command out of her from start to finish within five minutes with this machine. So very quick. Difference with that was it's not the stylish down that I want and that I do with my dogs and clients' dogs, but for the average owner, they don't care about style. They don't care. They just care the dog downs when they tell them. So with Hope, it worked perfectly. She just comes to the machine and she just plops herself, right? So it worked. Within five minutes, she didn't know what down was. I just decided to use the machine for that to do it, and she just started doing down. Now she's a down fanatic. Everything we do, she just goes into a down. She goes, and that happened from using this machine. But today's video is, I'm going to give you an example of another way to use this to help dogs through fear. I'm going to do other videos on this as far as obedience goes and maybe some tricks and fancy or higher stuff with this. But today's video is going to be how you can use this to condition a dog, settle down, and enjoy the car ride, right? So the 20 years I've been doing this, most people have a problem with their dog getting in the car and relaxing. Most dogs get in there, they're frantic. That's if they can get them in there. You know, it's not as easy. A lot of dogs do not like getting in the car and they refuse to get in the car. So this is gonna show today example how you can pass a dog through that and then teach them how to settle in the car and not get anxious and frantic, right? And very quickly condition the behavior that you want in the end. So this very good machine, very, you can do so many good things with this. If you know how to apply the theory, you just have to know how to treat, when to treat, how often to treat, and when not to treat, right? So there is, there is a psychology behind it. It's not that simple. But so in today's video, I'm going to use Charlie that I was going to take him to the car. He's never been in the car with us before. So I anticipated some anxiety of him not getting in the car. So I'm going to put the treat and train machine in the back seat in the, the other side of the car so that he would have to get in and he'd be facing this side to eat out of this while he lays down and gets comfortable if he does that. So we'll see. So this is what the example I'm going to show you today to get a dog through possible fear and to settle down and get them over the anxiety and fear of the situation. All right, ready? Up, 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 up. Good. Try. Up. Good boy. Good. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Try. Up, up, up. Good boy. Go ahead. Up, 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 up. Yes. Good boy. Ready? Up, 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 up. Up, up. Go, go, try. Go, 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 go. Try. Up, 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 up. Try. Up, up, up. Come here. Get. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Go. Good boy.
Boy, Charlie, come here. Come on, Jay. Come on. Good boy, come on. Okay, come. Come on, buddy, come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy, Charlie. Hop. Oh, Charlie. Go, 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 go. Hop, 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 hop. Charlie, over here. Yes, good boy. Good boy! Good boy, Charlie! Good boy! Ready? Hop! Yes! Good boy! Hold it, Charlie. Hold it. All right, and then there you see, after just a few tries, the first time to get Charlie out of the car, I had to pull him by the collar also and get him out because he was afraid to jump out of the car. The, this second time, he goes up by himself and he comes out by himself with no touching him. Perfect. And it was the third time there he just kind of jumped up in there with very little hesitation and went right in. So, and then the treat machine, I hit the thing as soon as he got in voluntarily on his own and I wanted him to spin towards the machine and lay down to get comfortable in that position so I could reward him with the machine in that position. So then he turned when I did that, perfect. So you can see very quickly a dog who is uncomfortable getting in a car and out of a car. The first time just a little help of pulling his collar and pushing him up and grabbing the collar and pulling him down. But the treat machine helping him, him enjoying and liking the association of what he was afraid of making a positive association to the treatment and train to, to do that and get him comfortable. So now I'm going to take Charlie on a trip. <laughs> so right as we did this, and the reason I was doing this was because I had to take him somewhere with me. So I didn't know what kind of resistance I was going to get, but I was going to use the treat and train anyway to, to help him in the car if there was an issue. So, since there was, to start, 
Now I'm just going to leave the treat and train machine there and I'm going to take him to the store with me for the first time and use the treat and train to settle him down in the car and teach him to stay in a down position and stay calm, relaxed and randomly I'm going to open the treat and train as long as he stays in a down, relaxed position. Alright, so we're driving. First time with Charlie. He lays, he's staying laying down. And I release the reward. Okay, if he stays down, I'm going to release it again, getting him comfortable while we're driving and keeping him in that down position. You, you see that we are driving. And there's Charlie. Doing his thing. Good boy. So he's enjoying the, the trip there. So you see we are driving. We are going. Okay. So we're a little further now. Charlie's staying down. I release it again. And I'm going to keep rewarding him for being in a calm position of staying down. All right, so I'm just reinforcing being in the car, laying down, getting reward for being comfortable and calm and in a down position. So as we keep driving, Charlie keeps looking at the, <laughs> the treating train, <laughs> waiting for somebody to come out. And I just keep rewarding them for being passive. All right, so we're 10 minutes into the drive now. Charlie won't get his head. <laughs> He's had his head in a container almost the whole trip. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes the treating train has a problem with taking stuff out of it. So Charlie just staying there, relaxed. Okay, so we are now 15 minutes in, and Charlie is still on a down. So I've been rewarding him at intervals. Okay, we're almost to our destination, and Charlie just will not get out of that position. <laughs> Remember, it's his first car ride, he's never been in the car. And he's relaxed, he's just hanging out. All right, so we're right here around the corner from our destination. Charlie still there, hovering over his container. And in a minute, I'm gonna take the container. When we get out of the store, I'm gonna take the container away and see what happens on the way back without the container. All right. So now we're gonna take the treating train out. Charlie's not in there and then do the way back without the treating train. All right, so we're driving back now. There's Charlie now laying down, no treat machine. There's no treat machine in the back. First car ride ever, and just instantly, as soon as we started to get out of the parking lot, he just laid down and just pacified. So we're almost to our destination. 15 minutes later, and Charlie's still laying down, very comfortable, content, relaxed, and no treat machine, no reward anymore, quick conditioning. Okay, so we just pulled up to our destination. Charlie, still in a down, just changed positions, went to the other side to get more comfortable. But now we're here, we're done with the trip, and he laid pretty much the whole time. So, perfect. All right, so there you have it. Showing you from beginning, Charlie never being in a car before, afraid of the car, getting in the car. So getting him over that within just a few minutes, get it, afraid of being out of the, getting out of the car, no problem. Then riding in the car, laying the whole time, relaxing, using the treating train, to reward him in intervals, 
for pacifying and laying calmly and getting a reward for that behavior, instilling that that is the behavior when you're in the car that we want you to have all the time. And we want you to have the ingrained behavior from us rewarding you that this is the way to be in the car. So we're actually instilling the behavior in him. Then you can see on the car trip to the store and back, on the way back without the treat and train machine, and he laid passively the whole time as well without the treat and train machine. So, very quickly we were able to condition Charlie getting in and out of the car and then taking the ride in the car to the store and back and perfect relaxed lay down exactly what you want to see with the treat and train machine and then without the treat and train machine to see what behavior we were going to get on the way back without the machine and that was all done in one day so obviously if you want to really implement that kind of system I would do days in a row of using a treat and train machine especially if your dog is a little neurotic in the car and they're very antsy and very anxious so I would do it for days to a week if you have to and just start fading out the treat and train machine once you have the dog in a state of mind that relaxation and the down position of relaxing is the way to be in car rides. So, hope you enjoyed. Till next time, Miami Dog Whisperer.